Hello everyone, my name is San here from Easy Crypto. Now in this video, I will be talking about Bitcoin crossing new all-time highs, breaking well over fifty thousand US dollars, and trading over fifty thousand US dollars for the last week. Not only that, but also companies and institutions that have been investing huge amounts into Bitcoin. What this means for Bitcoin's future, and also circulating supply. It's a huge uh, factor when you start to take in the price of Bitcoin and possible price predictions in the future. I do want to talk about this and explain this to you guys a bit more in depth. So to get started, as we can see, Bitcoin is sitting at 53,500 US dollars as of recording this video for you guys. And the total market cap sits at just under 1 trillion US dollars. Now that's a huge number. That's a lot of money. The estimated gold market cap sits at 10 trillion dollars so about 10 trillion us dollars worth of money sitting in gold here we are with bitcoin sitting at 1 trillion making bitcoin a growing asset very very fast as you can see as well uh, ethereum sits at 200 billion market caps so that puts bitcoin at about five times ethereum's total value right now at near 1 trillion US dollars. Now if we have a look at the one week chart we can actually see when Bitcoin finally crossed the $50,000 mark on February the 17th and since then Bitcoin rallied all the way up to $58,300 at its peak. So as soon as we crossed the big $50,000 mark there really wasn't any resistance. Bitcoin just continued its way up all the way up to $58,000 and we've seen a bit of a drop down and right now we are trading at about $53 US dollars. But in good news, pretty much for the last week, Bitcoin has not gone below fifty thousand US dollars since breaking that fifty thousand mark. We haven't dropped below it, so that's really cool to see. Now, something else I do want to mention before we continue is circulating supply. So as you can see here, the current circulating supply of Bitcoin is eighteen point six million Bitcoins right now. The max supply is twenty one million. So right now we're at almost ninety percent of the total circulating supply is out there in the market circulating around right now. But what I want to mention more towards that is the amount of Bitcoin that has been lost permanently, either in wallets or people have just lost passcodes or people have passed on or, you know, died off and no one else has access to their Bitcoin or even knows about it. Therefore, bringing the total circulating supply down by almost 20% is estimated from chain analysis. Um, as you can see, we have a story here where someone very recently lost over 220 million US dollars worth of Bitcoin. I believe that would be worth about 450 million dollars now, um, simply because Bitcoin's gone up since this article was created. But that Bitcoin wallet held 7,000 Bitcoins, and it's believed that this man has totally lost access to it. So that's another 7,000 out of that total circulating supply of 18.6 million is gone. And of the existing 8.6 6 million Bitcoin, around 20% currently worth 140 billion. So remember that Bitcoin's moved up since then, so it's worth more than that. It appears to be lost or otherwise stranded in wallets, according to the cryptocurrency data firm Chain Analysis. So, with 20% estimated of Bitcoin circulating supply to be missing in missing wallets or you know lost passcodes and things like that, private keys that have gone missing, that would bring Bitcoin's circulating supply down to about 15 million Bitcoin at current circulating supply amounts, therefore making Bitcoin a even more scarce and finite asset, therefore driving up the value and price for people um, that are long-term investors or really believe in the technology behind Bitcoin and the motives behind it becoming a huge asset class um, in the markets. So that's actually kind of good news for us, even though it sounds terrible that 20% of the total supply is either missing or could be completely lost in wallets and to be unrecovered. That's actually good news for anyone else that's buying and holding Bitcoin. Not only that, not just people, but also institutional companies such as Tesla. We all know what's going on with Tesla. They brought over 1.5 billion US dollars worth of Bitcoin. And guess what? That 1.5 billion US dollars is now worth 2.58 billion US dollars. Pretty much meaning that Tesla, just off their Bitcoin holdings alone, have gone up in over 1 billion US dollars within a month. Now Tesla hasn't even made that much off their cars as a car manufacturer in over a decade. Therefore, Tesla has made more money off Bitcoin in the space of a couple of weeks compared to their core business model over the space of 10 years. Now, the biggest company, a lot of people know about this, is MicroStrategy. Right now, they have 3.8 billion US dollars sitting in Bitcoin. They've purchased over 1.14 billion dollars at US dollar prices. 45% of this company's market cap is sitting in Bitcoin. Whereas Tesla, only 0.3% of their current market value is sitting in Bitcoin. As you can see, a lot of these companies are actually putting in more than 1%. It's estimated when people talk about institutions and big companies coming into Bitcoin, a lot of people talk about possible 
possibly Apple maybe one day or just other huge companies similar to Tesla coming into Bitcoin. A lot of people just talk about maybe 1% or 1.5% of their value being put into Bitcoin. That's, a, that's an okay number. It's a huge number when you consider these massive companies. But when you have to take a look at here at these smaller companies, some of these smaller companies are chucking in huge amounts, such as MicroStrategy, as I just discussed, sitting at 45%. Galaxy Digital Holdings have put 55% of their market value into Bitcoin. Um, and as you can see, these rates obviously change. But overall, on average, most of these are well over 1% if you did worked out the averages. Uh, but as you can see, Tesla just putting in 0.3% of their market value as a company was a total of 1.5 billion US dollars. So that's still a huge amount of money, even though it's such a small percentage of the business. 1.5 billion US dollars is huge. And that equates to about 48,000 Bitcoin uh, that Tesla purchased. Whereas MicroStrategy, once again, is the biggest company holding Bitcoin. They got in at earlier prices, sitting at 71,000 Bitcoin. But keep this in mind, MicroStrategy has continued to buy Bitcoin through different prices, all the way up to 39,000 US dollars per Bitcoin, uh, as far as I am aware. So MicroStrategy is not one of those people or individuals or even companies that are sitting there saying this is too expensive, I'm going to wait for it to drop. They're continually buying in usually at different amounts at different times, but it kind of shows as a company that they believe in Bitcoin as a long-term asset, probably most likely with the hope or idea that it will go up in value tremendously in the future. Now, apart from that, guys, um, all links to these websites will be down below in the description. You'll be able to see the Bitcoin treasuries and publicly traded companies. Sorry, you'll be able to have a look at this yourself. You can also read this article from Forbes where it explains the missing supply from about 20% of estimated uh, the total estimated 18.6 million Bitcoin in total supply or circulating supply, sorry, is missing. You can read more about that and how they calculated these things. And then CoinMarketCap will also pop a link down there where you can actually check all the values and prices of Bitcoin. And as always, you can always buy and sell Bitcoin through Easy Crypto from multiple countries. Our website will be down in the description. Apart from that, my name is San from Easy Crypto and thank you for watching.